Hey guys, KT here. Welcome back to some more uh, Skyrim, where last time we progressed on forward after we completed the task for the Arrow of Solitude. And uh, we actually saw Alduin again, which is shocking because I didn't even know I could see him more than once. But no, I saw him again after uh, pretty much... Uh, oh, how do I put this? He was resurrecting another dragon. I really was not expecting it when this happened, so... Hello there. I don't know where you're going, but stay out of that mine. It isn't safe. Um, why? We tunneled into an old Nordic crypt. The whole place is crawling with Draugr. We're not mining up any ore with those undead around, so I wouldn't go down there if I were you. I'll come back to you. I, I, I really need to... I need to focus on my main objective. I can always do that later. That is a blood dragon. I, okay, is this what I'm going against now? Blood dragon, regular dragon? I mean, I'm not gonna lie, you're a cool ass dragon, but... I feel like, you know, I'll take it. I'd rather fight these things than fight uh, newer dragons that could easily wreck my shit. Uh, <laughs> if I had to be 100% honest, I'd rather just take on a blood dragon. Okay, come on, we got this. Okay. As long as that other guy isn't attacking, I hope. Because the thing is, I'm viewing that if I complete his, if I, if he dies, I can't do his side quest about the stronger. Personally, that's what I'm worried about, I guess. I don't know. There we go. Another dragon down. You know, I think the crazy thing is, and I'm only gonna say this, I find it crazy that how the way Elder Scrolls games level up. I, I love how we're like almost to like, I, may I know, I'm gonna note this now, I don't know what part I am as current recording because I do not do my numbers until after I, I cut the videos down, uh, which you think I'd know it by now. But since we're close to like 100 parts in this uh, Let's Play, that I would at least by this point know, like, I would, be over here like making a comment about leveling up system versus like Skyrim and Elder Elder Elden Scrolls Elden Elder Scrolls Elden Scrolls Jesus Christ what what, is, what do I look like I'm doing playing Elden Ring but no I I know Elder uh, Elder Scrolls does the whole skill based stuff where you oh, the more you get into uh, certain aspects the better uh, stuff you have. Versus, like, uh, how do I put it? Ooh, hello. Uh, versus something like, uh, why can't I grab that? Whatever. Uh, versus something like, uh, Fallout. Sorry, my brain's just not working. I, this is why sometimes I don't re do recordings after a long day of work, because fuck. Uh, but, um, yeah, no, I know, uh, if we want to compare it, like, I know Fallout does the whole level where every time you get a kill, you get uh, XP, and based off what enemy type it is, you get more XP, so higher level enemies get more XP than lower level enemies, which is really cool, and I'm not going to lie, I love the way, that, the, way the, El the Fallout games do it, because it feels like typical RPG aspect. Kill enemies, get levels. But I also like the Skyrim version, but it, it's a little harder to get levels in certain aspects because of it. If you're not good at doing the grind for it, uh, it's just the fact that you get better as skills progress. I know uh, Oblivion's one where I was like really bad at it, where Oblivion uh, had it where. The way it would work is uh, you'd have to go to sleep in order to get your level ups. Which sucks for me because when I played the uh, Oblivion, I have a really shitty time at like actually doing what I'm pretty much doing now and actually like staying up versus going to sleep. Uh, and I know uh, with that, uh, I remember always playing and I always had difficulties because I'd play so much without getting levels 
And I'd be over here like, look at me, I'm just a guy with low level loot. Or I have, or I have like the highest, high level loot with zero like improvements to my skills. Uh, it's like 50-50, I don't know. Once we do Oblivion, we'll see how I do differently. Um, yeah, how do we end, how do we get, uh, find the entrance? The entrance must be past the Forsworn camp. Look for a canyon or cave entrance into the Karth Spire. Alright, let's take care of that Forsworn over there. I mean, they're just staring at me. Hold on. So I might as well just do a shot. I just love how Esbern just summons Atronox just to uh, get his physical damage going. Cool. Awesome. Let's go ahead and progress on forward and hope for the best. Car Spire discovered. Okay, let's see what this cave has in store for us. I mean, it's just a force worn camp. What do I? What should I expect? Probably r blood and guts and roses. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's go on ahead. See what we got in store for us. Ooh. That looks like a briar heart. Oh. Esbern, I... I'm going to be so glad when they are off my party. I would say they're very combat oriented. And I'm very stealth oriented. Oh, that's also why I didn't bring uh, any companion recently. I've been trying to be more stealthy and as soon as I get a shot, it feels like my team tends to get me killed. Ooh, Frost Salt. I will take that because I have a side objective that requires me to turn in some uh, Frost Salt. And I picked up a potion for no reason that I don't even care about. Is there anything in these barrels? Cabbage. I'll, I'll eat some cabbage. Why not? I love how the Atronaut's still following. Like, you don't need it, Esvern. You can get rid of it. Ooh. That's weird. This looks promising. Yes, definitely early Akaviri stonework here. We've got to get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yes, these are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You had the symbol for king and warrior. Of course, the symbol for dragon. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing downward at the bottom. Okay. Yes, that's it. The symbol on the middle pillar. Whatever you did, it worked. Let's see what those old blades. I mean, I guess if like the dragonborn's like the hero, I guess. Yeah, everything would be Dragonborn related. Oh. So I'm guessing follow the symbol. Don't just rush through. You don't just put plates on the ground for no reason. Alright, here we go. Uh... Fuck, fuck, fuck! Oh. Okay, not what I was expecting. I was actually shocked. I was like, huh, maybe maybe it's broken? Then fucking fireball just came out of nowhere. Oh, that's horrible. Sky Heaven, Haven Temple. Nice. Orcish. Ooh, hello, I'll take that. Alright. Nothing too crazy, I'm not gonna lie, that could be worse. What do you have to say, Esbern? Wonderful. Remarkably well preserved too. Ah, 
Here's the Blood Seal. Another of the lost Akaviri arts. No doubt triggered by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Look here. You see how the ancient blades revered we would see with it. So wait, huh? I was supposed to do something, or are you gonna say something, Esbern? This whole place appears to be a shrine to Raymond. He ended the Akaviri invasion under mysterious circumstances, you recall? Alright, well, let's go ahead and activate it, I guess. Let's go on ahead and see what we got in store for us. Might as well, I mean, nothing too crazy to worry about, right? Damn, this place is dark. Um I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna we're gonna use something to help uh, make this a little easier. Ezra, don't worry, I put lights up. Oh, they don't last long. Well, I somewhat put lights up. Be proud of me. You just gotta ignore the oh. original Akaviri Bowerys. Almost entirely intact. Thank you, Delphine. At least you don't just walk by with a torch and expect other people to do that shit for them. You can see how the Akaviri crafts but we're beginning to embrace them. Wait, are you still well, admiring? The wall, right, Esbern? Uh, yes, of course. We'll have more Let's time. Let's go see it. Let's see what's up ahead. Do, 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 do. Huh. That's interesting. Put the bow involved, because why not? You coming, Esbern? Because uh, I think I see what we need. It's not like there's a marker to it or something. Baldwin's Wall, so good. I've never seen a finer example of early Second Era Kaviri sculpture of relief. Esbern, we need information, not a lecture on artists. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Oh, now you're gonna light something cool, Ezra, and I appreciate Here it. Here is Alduin. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over the Skyrim. Here, the humans rebel against their Dragon Overlord, the legendary Dragon War. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord talks, masters of the voice, are arrayed. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the new of Alduin and Alduin. So we're looking for a shout, then. Damn it. You ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? I mean, if I had, I wouldn't be uh, fighting them while they're flying. So no, I've never heard of it. I was afraid you were going to say that. I guess there's nothing for it. We'll have to ask the Greybeards for help. I hope to avoid involving them in this, but we have no other choice. Okay, what's your whole thing with the Greybeards? Like, I don't get why you're against them. They've been teaching me. 
If they had their way, you'd do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Look, they might have a point. Too much power is dangerous. Like, look at Aluin. In the wrong hands, it's bad. Only if you don't know how to use it. All the great heroes have had to learn to use their power. Those that shrank from their destiny. Well, you've never heard of them, have you? And there are the villains. Those that misused their power. There's always a choice, and there's always a risk. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Like the Greybeards up on their mountain. Okay, I'm just gonna go check to see if they know what this word of power is for the shout. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. Look here, All right. in the third oh. panel, the prophecy which brought the Alkaviri to Tamriel in the first place, in search of the Dragonborn. Here are the Alkaviri, the blades. You see their distinctive long swords. Now they need their ancient mission fulfilled as the last Dragonborn with all to it at the end of time. Are you paying attention, Delphine? You might learn something of our own history. I know the prophecy by heart. Once all blades knew it, when misrule takes its place at the eight corners of the world. When the brass tower walks and time is reshaped, when the thrice blessed fail, and the Red Tower trembles. When the Dragonborn ruler loses his throne and the White Tower falls. When the Snow Tower lies silent. All right, he's just gonna do a history lesson. Not really worried about that. So let's go ahead, we're gonna end it here. If you guys enjoy, make sure to like, subscribe, check out all the links in the description below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.